So they still celebrate Christmas out there in California? We do, but our Santa's super gay. Where's a red thong? <laughs> Does your Santa get too drunk to bring down the presents? Now, I wasn't you drunk. Have. I was tired. Yeah, your mom let him put Jameson in the eggnog. They woke up at five in the morning. No. I'm still dead asleep on the sofa. Donna had the barricades in the room while I stuffed the stockings. They're in there screaming, Santa locked his in! Santa locked his in! <laughs> when you two Californians gonna have a baby? Hey, we're working on it. What? That's so exciting. I, well, not like, oh. you're not like working on it. We're like, we're working. We're going to therapy. You getting a divorce? No, no. Did you cheat on her? No, Jesus, calm down, no. Well, what are you going to therapy for? You know, we're, uh, we're working on shit. What? Yeah, you know, preparing relationship-wise. We're, we're, we're working on ourselves. Well, that sounds like a bunch of made-up California bullshit to me. I, look, you know, we don't, we don't want to bring a bunch of kids into the mix without preparing for it. We don't want to, you know, spend the rest of our lives regretting that we didn't work on ourselves first. You know, we want to be healthy parents, not struggling maniacs, just sleepwalking through life. Hey, look, man, I, 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 I Santa came last night. Oh. Yeah, was he good to you? Did he bring you lots of presents? He locked us in our bedroom. <sighs> all right, sweetie, go play with something. We're yeah. talking, all right? We'll be back, baby. Hey, man, I wasn't talking about you guys. I, look, I, you know, we may not have a lot, but uh, I'll tell you one thing. I never feel like I have to go to therapy. Pat, they're in California now, so. Right? Yeah. All right. Well, we better go. Kids are going nuts here. Hey, Merry yeah. Christmas. Okay. You Merry guys. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What the fuck was that? What? Life is so short and all so sweet. Life in the sun is such a treat. Do what you want to do. How was your holiday? Great. How was yours? Nice. You guys visit family or anything? Sure. Can you elaborate? We don't usually discuss our personal lives with our patients. Why not? It's not about us. Aren't we friends here? You need to be friends with your optometrist to get glasses? I don't share personal intimate details with my optometrist. Did something happen over the holidays? I told his brother we're in therapy. She basically pissed all over Christmas. How so? Let's just move on. Let me ask you guys a question. All three of you. When are we going to see results? <clears throat> it's been months of this California bullshit. When are we going to see real results? I have seen significant results. You have? Absolutely. You two are communicating on a much deeper level. Yeah, but we're not having sex like we used to, and we're not any closer to having a baby. Oh, uh, here we go. He hasn't changed a fucking bit. See, what, what, what's the point of this? The point is to understand why you feel the way you feel. So it's better to feel like shit and know why than to not feel like shit and not know why? You lost me. I lost you. Marriage. Marriage is a lot of work. But it's worth it. So what you're saying is that we'll never be cured in here. Uh, you guys go to the gym? Yeah. You think you'll ever be cured of going to the gym? So it never ends. I've got news for you. This is what life is. We spent Christmas here. In town. I'm Jewish. Kat is Catholic. So we do our own amalgamated holiday. This year, for the first time since we became parents, it was just the two of us. Our son is out of town, so... We went to dinner, we went for a walk, we went to the movies. We spent time together. And how was it? Wonderful. You mean, why didn't I tell them that our first Christmas in the house without the kid, Kat and I argued about sex, or the lack thereof, and then she stormed out? Or that I spent the day wandering the streets of Los Angeles, uncomfortable in my own home. Returning to a drunken husband in boxer shorts, weeping over a family album. Okay. I think the sex couple is bringing up issues for the two of you. You think? What issues? The fact that we haven't fucked in three months. Oh. That fucking issue. Are you finished? Do you want me to give you a loincloth and a stick so you can beat around the room for a while? <sighs> I'm sorry. It's just been simmering. 
Making love used to be so simple. Of course, at the beginning, it's a whole different thing. That explosive feeling you have when you lay with a new lover, as amazing and addictive as that is, we have to move past it. I mean, cherish those memories, of course. But I want you to embrace where you are right now. Fine. But if we're going to be honest, Mel has a lot more memories to cherish than I do. Oh, God. Mel, shush. What do you mean, Kat? Well, I've only been with Mel. You know that. I don't have an explosive memory. You had it at least once with yes. me. Yes, once. But how many co-eds did you conquer before we got together? He's, he's trying to act like he can't remember. You are so lying. Low 20s, maybe. No, 26. And two of them were sisters. Not at the same time. <laughs> like that makes a difference. I can't believe that you are giving me shit for something that I did over 25 years ago. You know what my mother called him when she first met him? A stray dog. Wow. So great that you could finally reveal that fucking memory. Just, 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 just give me a minute here. I don't want to knock the kids over with this thing. 